Last time, I went over how me and Andy broke the Steerzo protocol, and then we went about reproducing it. I demoed the steering, and, well, really, it wasn't anything more than just a demo. But today that changes with an introduction of the Stereo platform. It's Mysterio. Okay, so how does it work? There's a potentiometer, measures angle, in the bottom. How do you get one? 3D printer. Why is it on an incline? Head tube angle. Why didn't your last video on YouTube do that well? So many. First, let's just go over the Steerzo and the Stereo in actual usage in Zwift. Get into Zwift. And uh, I'm still on my free trial. Let's get to riding. It's a, it's a good thing I'm wearing jeans and a, and a cotton t-shirt. Right? Stupid steering warning. If only there was a way to control the stupid menus in Zwift. So, this is a steer zone. Allows you to steer. See how I can go back and forth. And do stupid things like that. That's a regular Steerzo. All right, so that's plugged in. Um, let, let's let's use this box to to prop it up so that it's not on the concrete floor. So now you see we've got Marl, good old Marl. It's gonna fake activate him because it's not really and it's connected. And now what we see is, uh, I hope I got my directions right, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's that. Um, a, a spring would have been great, but it is is not. Okay, so back to the free trial. <sighs> and the same annoying future works. Yes, we understand. Okay, and just with the steers though, steer left, steer right. This guy thinks of going on the outside, but I'm not. We're gonna take him on the inside. But we're not. And then we'll swoop around him. It's hard to know when you're actually changing lanes on turns. My Zwift claim to fame is that I was one of the first people to show how easy it was to cheat in Zwift. Well, let's take that one step further where I'm not even gonna pedal, but boy, am I gonna steer. I'm gonna steer with everything. And we'll steer to the left, steer to the right. Why, well, I might just steer with an elbow. Yes. This is so much easier. Mm, yes. I'm using my hammerhead crew on my el elbow. We gotta find someone. We gotta pass them and then be like a real jerk. Where are the people? I've only got so many kilometers before it's gonna kick me out or I have to start paying. That guy's passing us. There, better cut him off and then steer over and back and forth. Just, you know, cause it's cool. So this is what I'm calling the stereo. And as you can see, it's made up of a mechanical apparatus as well as a dev kit currently. And you have three wires running out and um, this is all 3D printed. So there's a few things you'll need beyond that, but let's just flip this over 
and see how it works. And as I alluded to earlier, there's a potentiometer here. It's mechanically fixed to the base. So the knob runs through and as the plat, as the, I guess the wheel holder steers, it turns the knob and that just runs out. So power, ground, signal, acts as a voltage divider. So that comes back to power, uh, power ground and uh, signal line. So as you steer, it changes the voltage output in an analog fashion. We read that every so often. So I'm gonna take this apart and then show how to put it back together. There are some annoyances, but we'll, we'll get to those. So there are one, two, three, four, five things to be 3D printed. Going to need some M8 by about 25 millimeter bolts, some 22 millimeter OD, uh, eight millimeter ID uh, bearings. These are 608 RS. For the stops, I just used um, some M4 inserts and M4 by I don't know, about eight millimeter bolts. The bottom cap that holds the potentiometer, going to need some 25 millimeter M3s. There is some aspects of this design that's changed a bit, and uh, this is one of them. So this has a system to prevent it rotating, and uh, you have to push this bearing in. Um, I just kind of remelt it back here. These two bolt holes are now rotated, and there is a proper groove out in the design. So if you 3D print it now, it should be much, much better than what I've actually built here. This little tube gets inserted. It'll should be a, a light fit. The bearing presses in and on the bottom of this, this bolt is what holds this on an angle and uh, rides against this bearing. So these sh don't touch this. It just all translates through uh, this bolt here. So assuming you insert your threaded inserts, the two on the bottom, this should be a bit proud. Uh, press in your bearing. The first thing you'll probably want to do is actually insert your bearings into your steering platform. So these have, you should probably print this out in a, at least three wall layer thickness, anywhere from 20 to 40% fill. Um, and there's no threaded inserts, they just thread in directly to the plastic. So once you have those bolts all threaded in, um, the bearing should move fine. There's a little bit of a gap between them all. And this will fit on this. You'll notice there's a gap between them. So we just need to flip it over, put this bolt through, and tighten it up. So now, that is your mechanical platform for steering here. The next bit is uh, a little bit trickier, but we'll put this aside. The first thing to do, there is a little hook that goes in to the holder. Put down your washer. This is also a good point of time to put in your little stop screws and let's just flip it over so this little piece here is used um, it catches on the nut so that as this moves this carries on with this so it's a bit of a tight fit I've had mine on and off a few times this I'm gonna have to rotate it this is the tricky bit where it actually might be good to plug this in to um, a supply, have it transmitting and connected to Zwift because we have to keep this all in zero position. This is where I like to use a little bit of blue tack to hold this in place and get it reading zero 
flip it over. Now keep in mind the current design has these rotated so it's easier to insert, but you need to get it onto the, onto the piece that connects to the bolt, push down, and with the platform kind of in the right position and this in the right position, Zwift should be reading from the board zero. If it's not, you're going to have to pull this out, turn the potentiometer and push it back in. And future designs can easily um, do that in software with some improvements. And uh, yeah, in the future, we can uh, deal with that with software improvements. Take that off. So there's a groove for the wires, but it'd be good to secure them down I've used a bit of hot glue, but also to keep the platform from slipping around, I've just put some dabs of hot glue. You can use whatever you want, really. Um, I use hot glue, but you certainly don't have to. So hopefully you found that video more useful. And uh, if you build one of these things, love to hear from you. Um, probably only going to be devs that will probably want to do something like this right now. I've also got the exact sensor in a breakout board that is used in the Stearzo. Um, it's actually cheaper than a potentiometer and I'm hoping that I can write some of the code to interface with this because this might make a much more accurate steering platform solution uh, for your own DIY. I had heard in some forums that people kind of expected that their non-smart Stearzos were going to be upgradable whereas Elite has basically denied that. So, um, I actually have a development board, a little breakout board with the exact same sensor that the Stearzo uses. It's actually cheaper than a potentiometer and it's more accurate and more reliable, especially long term. So, I'm kind of wondering if there are people out there that would be willing to just pull the, the six bolts out of their dumb Stearzos see if the magnet is in it. And if it is, let me know if they have an interest in a custom board that would fit in there. I would uh, I wouldn't mind necessarily designing it if there was 10 or 20 people even that wanted one. And uh, it would make your dumb Stearzo smart, exactly like an existing Stearzo. We'd be using our own custom open source firmware. And then I would have an impetus to update the stereo platform in order to support that exact same board. So if you're interested in that, definitely leave a comment um, and it would really help out the channel to see some, some more growth. If uh, you like, comment, subscribe, all the same stupid things that you hear a thousand times. But they do actually really help uh, the visibility of the channel and getting it out there. So um, thanks for watching.